Howdy everyone, SOB here, and today I'm going to briefly talk about the Exodus Active Probat trait and the Intel team combo that allows for the massive amount of survivability that you see these builds having in the solo elite runs. You've seen me use this in my solo infected elite and hive space elite runs, and anyone else that's doing those queues is most likely or doing those cues solo is most likely going to be using this exact same trait combination because it is extremely potent. So there is four components to this build. The first is, most important, is you have to have a ship that has at least a lieutenant intel seat. You have to be able to slot two copies of intelligence team. Intel team will provide you with a large amount of stealth and lower your threat generation for 10 seconds. So you're going to be chaining two copies of those. Now to make sure you can have those up all the time, you're going to use the personal space trait fresh from r and &R. This lowers the global cooldown of Intel team from 15 seconds to 10 seconds. So I will de-slot that quick. I will hit my Intel team. You see how this one is on a global cooldown for 15 seconds? We'll wait for that to be over and then I will slot fresh from r, &R. Okay, I'm gonna hit this Intel team now. So there you go, you see it's 10 seconds. So by using fresh from r, &R this allows any of your team abilities, including Intel team, to have a 10 second global cooldown. You could also, if you wanted to use this trait for like TAC team, inch team, side team, whatever. Uh, but for this build, you're using it just for the Intel team. So once again, that Intel team is a large amount of stealth and minus threat gen. And now the big component to this is the Exodus Active Probat trait. This comes from the Section 31 Intel Science Destroyer. This is a rather expensive lockbox ship. It is going to cost you like a billion EC if you uh, want to get the Fed version. If you're a Klingon, you're going to be able to get it quite a bit cheaper for now until the supply runs out on the uh old cross-faction trait boxes. Anyone that is KDF or KDF aligned should be able to find one of those trait boxes for probably under 200, maybe even under 100 million. I think right now they're at like 80 mil on the exchange. And that is that is really quite cheap for now. So if you have a Klingon that has a ship that could take advantage of this, definitely go grab one of those traits sooner rather than later because that supply of those trait boxes is going to dry up quite fast. So what does Exodus Act of Probat actually do? It gives you an additional amount of stealth. It gives you 15% cat 2 bonus weapon damage and it gives you plus 40 control expertise and it has 100% uptime. So if I just chain these two intel teams, you're going to see truly 100% uptime because it lasts for 20 seconds and you're triggering it every 10 seconds. It does not stack when you hit the second intel team, it just refreshes the duration. And this trade is triggered by any intel ability or jam sensors, but from my experience having messed with it, you really need to use this with two copies of Intel Team and Fresh from r, r if you want to have the survivability from it. And now, I'm not, I, I should clarify, running this trait combo is not going to make you immune to damage. If you look at the solo ISC run I did or the solo HSE, you're still going to see that I'm taking a significant amount of damage. But... I am mitigating so much damage, like my pets are taking a lot of the threat. If you saw in some of those runs, my subspatial tears from the subspatial warhead trait were actually drawing threat uh, from quite a lot of the enemies. And 
you know that this this trait combination is how i do it because my threat generation is so low that the in a lot of cases the enemies are targeting anything else that they can that is around me so my pets are dying fast uh they're targeting the subspatial tears like i don't really care if they're killing my pets as long as they're not killing me so this trait combo extremely effective if you want to get it on your kdf let's i'm just going to run down to the exchange here just to wrap this video up so we can get the current prices as i'm making this video so if you're a fed or if you're, i've already got typed in if you're if you're a kdf or kdf aligned just search exodus on the exchange you can see there there's a bunch of them under 100 million ec these traits are in very limited supply because they were removed from the starship trait boxes with the cross faction change back in january so once the supply of these is gone you will have to get the intel science destroyer so let's search that up there's one on the exchange And this, of course, you see it there, Exodus Act of Probat. So, this trait combo, extremely effective. It's how the high-end builds are mitigating so much threat generation. It's, it's really good. If you're wanting to do solo runs, you basically have to have this trait. But that is it for this video. Hopefully, this has been helpful to just let help you understand this trait combination. I've been enjoying it and you'll be seeing some more videos in the near future where I take advantage of this to do some more fun solo runs. Hopefully one here soon with the inquiry. That is it. Thank you all for stopping by and I will see you all next time.